Hello, 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 and welcome to the Wranglers Unit of the Reek. And today we're taking a look at the Cub M. Cube is a short range anti aircraft system developed in the late 60s, with just over 500 being built during their production run until the 80s. Basically, it's a big missile system used for more mobile anti air operations, so mobile in the sense that it can move by itself, as usually anti aircraft weapons of this caliber are sometimes deployed in static launch sites. And it's a pretty standard affair for the weapon system. The 3M9 missile has a range of roughly 20 kilometers against aircraft flying at 1400 meters. It can do decent against aircraft if it can get the radar lock, which is usually being guided from an independent radar vehicle. But because it's an earlier and older anti-aircraft system compared to more modern ones, it doesn't do a great job against aircraft which are performing some maneuvers. However, this did not stop the Soviets from exporting this missile system all over the place. Because throughout the later parts of the Cold War, the Kubem can pretty much be seen everywhere. From the Yom Kippur War, the South African Border War, in Bosnia, in Syria, in Iraq, and even today it's still being used in Ukraine. In game, the Cub M is a 45 point anti aircraft piece available to the Czechs, Poles, Yugos, and the Eastern Germans. It is one weapon. And that weapon being the rather large 3M9 missiles, or the SA 6 for you NATO fans. Anyway, you got three of these missiles with radar-guided capabilities, range against helicopters of 2.5 kilometers, 3.9 kilometers against aircraft, 40% accuracy, 9 HC, and a wicked long reload time. It's a big missile with pretty big range for the price, and big supply costs, and big damage. They're big. Hop down to miscellaneous stats has one frontal armor, one side armor, one back armor, and one top armor. 10 HP, big size, very good air detection with a speed of 45 kilometers off road, 110 on the road, poor stealth, pretty pure autonomy, and type restricted to mechanized armored and support type decks. So the Carbon is quite an interesting little, well, I should say big anti aircraft piece, because for quite a while, especially in my time playing for the War Game series, it's an anti aircraft system I would sleep on, because, well, I could just spend more money buying a better version of it, such as the Neva or Book or the fancy Cub M4 for the checks, and it has much better range and accuracy, and I want my missiles to hit, goddammit, we're not playing Warno here. But there's actually a very good reason to take the Cub M. It's just cheaper. <laughs> it's not a surprise, of course, you do get worse quality, but the same quality you do get is the damage. They both have 9 HC if you get the fancy ones. All that matters is if the missile does hit, and you pretty much got the same value. Now you can make the missile hit by just getting more missiles, and you can just buy more Cub M's compared to buying fancier Cubs, or Books, or Nevers, to actually shoot down aircraft. And this is what made using the Cub M in the 1v1 scene now very popular, because it's cheaper to get, meaning that you can cover more of the map of them with cheaper anti-aircraft units, and it also means, if it gets killed by a seed aircraft because you forgot to micro your radar, it's not that big of a deal. It's 45 points, you can just buy another one. You get better availability compared to the more fancier anti-aircraft pieces, and it's definitely something you want to take with veterancy, like a lot of heavy missile anti-aircraft weaponry, you want to make those missiles count. Overall, when you get a whole battery of these guys, and a 1v1, two or three of them, can do a very good job of knocking down most enemy aircraft. All you have to do is get one good hit, and then you just need some other crappy anti-aircraft weapon to get one other hit, and most aircraft will go down quite easily. It's a very good, cost-effective anti-airplane weapon. And, well, I don't like being killed by airplanes, especially stealth runs, or runs of cluster bombs, or high-explosive bombs, napalm bombs or so. Pretty annoying to you. know, I just don't like aircraft over my airspace in general. I think we'll just leave it at yard. And well, this has been another Angry's Unit of the Week. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and usual, please just take it easy.